Hey, this is Tyler Baker, the pastor of Valiant Baptist Church, and we're located in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, this video, I want to serve two purposes. Number one, I want it to be an announcement video about a series that I'm going to be releasing on my channel that I'm very excited about. Now, this series is going to have one unit or one video released a week, and I'm going to release these videos on Saturday of each week. So it will be one video that is released for a course of time, a period of time, on a Saturday or on the Saturday of each week. Now, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do so so that you can get a notification about these videos and maybe also some of the upcoming sermons. Number two, I want this video to be an introduction for that exact series. And the title of this series is going to be Jesus is Jehovah. I'm going to be using the Bible to prove without a shadow of a doubt that Jesus, he who was born of the Virgin Mary, was in fact and is Jehovah of the Old Testament. That Jesus Christ, who came and was born in Bethlehem's manger, was the God of the Old Testament, Jehovah, the Lord of the Old Testament scriptures, who came and was born as a man. Now, as I said, this video, I want to be an introduction. And there may be people out there who aren't familiar with the term or with the word Jehovah. Now, we all know that the, that the Bible teaches that there is only one God, that that one God created the heaven and the earth, that that one God came to Noah in Genesis chapter number six, and he warned of the coming flood. That same God appeared to Abraham years later. And when he appeared to Abraham, the Bible teaches that he appeared by the name of God Almighty. We find this in Exodus chapter number six. And what else we find in Exodus chapter number six is the introduction of the name Jehovah. Now, Exodus chapter number six, verse number two says, and God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. So we have Jehovah appearing in the burning bush is the story that this is taken from to Moses. And he tells Moses that I am the God that appeared to Abraham. I'm the God that appeared to Isaac, to Jacob. And they knew me by my name, God Almighty. I am God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known unto them. Now in Exodus chapter number 6, verse number 3, we find something very interesting. If you look very closely, you'll notice that the name of the word Jehovah is in all caps. All the letters of that word or of that name are capitalized. You may or may not have also noticed this while reading your Old Testament, that many times when the word Lord appears, it will also appear the same way, where all four letters are capitalized. Well, this name of the God of Israel appears in the Old Testament 6,800 times. Seven of those times, the King James Bible translators decided to transliterate it, they, and they took it directly from Hebrew and just put it straight into English, and it is the word or the name Jehovah. Well, all of the other times, the remaining times, they translated it as the word Lord. One of the reasons why they did that was so that we would know the meaning of the name of the God of Israel, Jehovah. And what it means is Lord. A very interesting thing that we can learn from this is when we look at Exodus chapter number 6, verse number 3, and we see that it was Jehovah that appeared to Moses, every time when we see the Lord sp uh, spoken of, we can also know that whoever it may be that's speaking, Jeremiah, Isaiah, and they're talking about the Lord, and it shows up in all caps, that they're talking about the same God, the God that appeared to Moses. A perfect example of this is in the famous Psalm, Psalm chapter number 23. The Bible says in verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd. Well, if you look closely again, you'll notice that all four letters of that word, Lord, are capitalized. You know why? Because this is talking about Jehovah. David is saying, Jehovah is my shepherd. The same God that appeared to Moses was the God that David was writing about. The one God of the Old Testament, the God that created the heaven and the earth, the God that destroyed the earth with Noah's flood, the God that came to Abraham and was known by God Almighty, also appeared to Moses. And he said, my name is Jehovah. We see that same name showing up over and over again in the Bible in the form of Lord. And this is the name of the God of the Old Testament. Well, I'm going to be proving in each of these videos that, I'm, that I will release going forward that Jesus, he who was born of the Virgin Mary, is that Jehovah 
of the Old Testament. God bless you and you have a good day.